alleged assassination attempt by drone broadcast on live TV and tonight major new developments from Venezuela. Authorities there say they have detained at least a half dozen suspects. The president of Venezuela speaking at a military rally over the weekend when an explosion erupts, his bodyguards rushing in there to protect him. Troops suddenly rushing away, then the TV signal suddenly cuts out. And tonight, the president there retweeting this video, suggesting it was the drone that suspects used to try to kill him. But there are major questions about whether this was one of those drones. ABC's Matt Guppen, who has reported here on the crashing economy in Venezuela, the desperation there, he's back tonight with what the U.S. is now saying about the dangers of drones and assassination attempts. This is claimed to be the moment of a suspected assassination attempt on Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. Maduro was speaking on live TV at a National Guard parade in the capital Saturday when suddenly you see his wife flinch and look up. Maduro then looks up. The camera rattles as you hear what sound like explosions. His security team swarms, shielding him with those bulletproof blankets and bundling him off stage. Below the grandstand, his vaunted National Guard break formation and scatter. The regime said seven people were injured, but no one killed. This as DHS Secretary Kristen Nielsen posted this message on Twitter saying the threat from drones is real and calling for Congress to do something about it. The video of the drone comes from a tweet later retweeted on Maduro's Twitter feed, purportedly showing the instant during his speech the drone explodes. But there are serious questions if this video is even from the scene, many questioning its authenticity. Maduro has come under increasing pressure, presiding over one of the greatest economic freefalls in history. We recently traveled to Venezuela's border with Colombia to witness firsthand the flood of Venezuelan families bringing across their possessions and their starving children, like Ofra Bear, who was less than two years old. In a Colombian hospital, his doctor told us... When this boy came here, he was about nine pounds, and now he's, uh, he's about 13 pounds. And Matt Guppen with us live tonight. Matt, those scenes from Venezuela, the border there, just heartbreaking. You've been on this story for us for some time now. And I want to get back to the announcement today in this country from the Department of Homeland Security, Secretary Nielsen, saying that drones are a real threat, and she's actually calling for Congress to act. That's right, David. Uh, Secretary Nielsen and top DHS officials spoke about the threat of explosive native drones in the United States. Now, they called it, quote, extremely concerning and saying the threat is growing and evolving. Now, currently, U.S. law does not allow law enforcement agencies to track or hack into a drone in order to try and to change its course. But, of course, those new laws could change that, David. Matt Guppen with us tonight. Matt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.